When something is important enough, you do it even if the odds are not in your favor. I do think there is a lot of potential if you have a compelling product and people are willing to pay a premium for that. I think that is what Apple has shown. You can buy a much cheaper cell phone or laptop, but Apple's product is so much better than the alternative, and people are willing to pay that premium. What makes innovative thinking happen? I think it's really a mindset. You have to decide. I've actually not read any books on time management. I would just question things. It would infuriate my parents. That I wouldn't just believe them when they said something cause I'd ask them why. And then I'd consider whether that response made sense given everything else I knew. It's okay to have your eggs in one basket as long as you control what happens to that basket. The first step is to establish that something is possible, then probability will occur. When Henry Ford made cheap, reliable cars, people said, Nah, what's wrong with a horse? That was a huge bet he made, and it worked. My biggest mistake is probably weighing too much on someone's talent and not someone's personality. I think it matters whether someone has a good heart. I wouldn't say I have a lack of fear. In fact, I'd like my fear emotion to be less because it's very distracting and fries my nervous system. If something has to be designed and invented, and you have to figure out how to ensure that the value of the thing you create is greater than the cost of the inputs, then that is probably my core skill. I say something, and then it usually happens. Maybe not on schedule, but it usually happens. If you get up in the morning and think the future is going to be better, it is a bright day. Otherwise, it's not. I think the best way to attract venture capital is to try and come up with a demonstration of whatever product or service it is and ideally take that as far as you can. Just see if you can sell that to real customers and start generating some momentum. The further along you can get with that, the more likely you are to get funding. I think it's very important to have a feedback loop where you're constantly thinking about what you've done and how you could be doing it better. Some people don't like change, but you need to embrace change if the alternative is disaster. I don't spend my time pontificating about high concept things, I spend my time solving engineering and manufacturing problems. People should pursue what they're passionate about. That will make them happier than pretty much anything else. As much as possible, avoid hiring MBAs. MBA programs don't teach people how to create companies. People work better when they know what the goal is and why. It is important that people look forward to coming to work in the morning and enjoy working. It's very important to like the people you work with, otherwise life, and your job is gonna be quite miserable. Persistence is very important. You should not give up unless you are forced to give up. If you're trying to create a company, it's like baking a cake. You have to have all the ingredients in the right proportion. I always have optimism, but I'm realistic. It was not with the expectation of great success that I started Tesla or SpaceX. 
it's just that I thought they were important enough to do anyway. You have to say, well, why did it succeed where others did not? There's a tremendous bias against taking risks. Everyone is trying to optimize their ass covering. Starting and growing a business is as much about the innovation, drive, and determination of the people behind it as the product they sell. I think we have a duty to maintain the light of consciousness to make sure it continues into the future. Failure is an option here. If things are not failing, you are not innovating enough. Don't delude yourself into thinking something's working when it's not, or you're gonna get fixated on a bad solution.